What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about something that has gone around the Twitterverse rather quickly and I'm sure you've seen some of your favorite creators here in the Call of Duty YouTube scene talk about it a little bit as well. I personally am a little bit late to it because, well, Tuesdays are my hell day at college, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's just something that takes up my entire day. So you guys were tweeting me all day about this. I didn't really get to touch on it too much in 140 characters. So I figured let's take a look at this, discuss it in its entirety in a video here. Whether it's late or not, it is what it is. But I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this supposed Call of Duty 2017 leak that came out earlier today. First and foremost, the biggest thing that I want to tell you guys is right now, I believe 100% this is fake. There is no reason in my mind that this actually does come out as something that is plausible and believable and a credible leak at that even to be something that actually indicates what we'll be seeing for the 2017 year and the next Call of Duty title. There's just way too much evidence stacked against it here and it's something that I definitely just don't buy into. Not to mention it's only January, so it's way earlier than we've ever seen leaks like this come out before, but I'll give you guys a little bit of the backstory for those of you guys that don't know exactly what's going on. So there was a Twitter account that came up. It was a brand new account, so possibly making it a little bit playing their cards right as it's a legit leak account that stemmed earlier in the day with videos and images of the main menu and multiplayer footage for a game supposedly called Call of Duty People's Army. And it was something that showcased firstly multiplayer footage and imagery and not campaign stuff or anything like that. And that to me was a big flag to begin with, but I won't lie, this was actually something that was really well put together. It is, I think, once again, faked, but they did play their cards very well here with it. They played into the dissatisfaction of the current title and the hype of looking forward to the next one already. They played on the belief and plausibility of a return to boots on the ground. They played on the plausibility of a World War II or Vietnam era game. They even deleted their own account to make it seem like they got hit by Activision for, air quote, leaking this. People wanted to believe and by Golly, if I wasn't such a skeptic, maybe this would have actually fooled me too as well, because in all fairness, the imagery and everything that was created here was undoubtedly done very well. Aside from maybe the main menu font, that just bugged me beyond belief. But anyways, there's just so much here that goes against this, but the story that was supposedly the backstory that led up to this, how it actually got attained, was this guy that made this account behind this Twitter user, made his way to a VIP room at a special event of some sorts for Infinite Warfare. Someone backed out of Infinite Warfare on the console and then was able to open up this from the dashboard. Now there's many problems with this, and one of the biggest ones being is there's no event scheduled for right now. As somebody that has their ear to the ground here with Activision and a lot of the different workings with all the different VIP stuff here with it, there's nothing going on right now, or at least nothing to the people that usually get invited to this, and it's something that that's already a big flag to begin with. The next thing that really raises a flag for me is that if the game is installed, it's basically a fresh console at these events. I know not many people have gone to events like this where you can play the game for the public to see, uh, maybe a little bit early. COD XP was probably the best example of this. It's something where it is the only thing installed on the game. If it's Infinite Warfare they're going for as this convention, this event, it's only going to be Infinite Warfare on those consoles, especially if it's a Call of Duty and Activision sanctioned event. Unless this was the absolute biggest blunder in game dev history, there is no way at all a game set to release 11 months from now is on a console that was being brought to an event, and especially whenever it's multiplayer like this. So take my word, I've been to these early access capture events, I've been to the VIP events for COD. There are so many precautions taken so that this does not happen, it just simply is not possible that one slipped through the cracks. And not to mention, those consoles that are in development with a game that are working to actively produce the game in its entirety, don't leave the studio. These would never be removed from Sledgehammer, and if they were missing, somebody would notice, and somebody would probably lose a little bit more than just their job. But all that said and out of the way, and just some speculation with the event and the backstory, what else proves this wrong? Well, the biggest thing to me is the fact that this was never removed. It's incredibly easy, especially if you're a billion dollar company in Activision, to get a hold of Twitter and be like, yo, that's not supposed to be out, that's under NDA, get this down right now, and then it'll be removed. We saw this a bunch with previous years, Black Ops 3 most recently having this, and Infinite Warfare of course having some too. Not many videos actually, I don't think, of Infinite Warfare got taken down, especially compared to Black Ops 3, but it was something that it's still very easy to do. And the thing with this also is that if a video gets taken down, the account doesn't go 
down as well immediately. That's something that this account kind of didn't play their cards right in that aspect. They may have made it a little easier to believe by taking themselves down, but one offense of this does not take down an account. It simply says the video cannot be played or is under copyright protection, something like that. Whatever Twitter actually uses to regulate these copyright strikes. And taking a look at normal leaks, they come out right around the maybe at the earliest late March, April, and then May timeframe. If something this big, such as multiplayer of the next Call of Duty game scheduled for 11 months from now was being leaked out, you know Activision full well would be all over every single repost, every single upload of this, and it's never been taken down. The videos are still up, and it's something that you can still search for on Twitter right now, and I may even drop some links down there in the description below if you guys want to check them out, but that said, they're still up, so that to me is the biggest indicator as well here. When you have an investment of multiple millions of dollars in terms of game dev, and it's being leaked out this early, you wanna protect every single bit of that asset that you have, and it's not something that you would ever really compromise. So, being that it's still up, that to me just shows that it's not an Activision thing. It's not an Activision sanctioned Call of Duty title, and it does not belong to this franchise. Other than that though, how else can I tell? Well, the gameplay was not smooth at all. There was one video that I got tagged in in which there was supposedly some footage of what looked like the Mosin Nugget from World at War, and I honestly believe this was from the DLC map Corrosion from World at War. I could be wrong, it's very horrible quality and I couldn't make out everything, but it for sure looked like the bolt action Mosinogget from this, and of course the backdrop kind of looked like corrosion, couldn't tell you 100% though, but it definitely was something that looked very choppy, not optimized at all, and even the alpha stages, the early alpha stages, if that's even what this game is into, there's still more fluent progress and movement through this in the gameplay than that of what was showcased. It almost looks like it was something that was optimized for a PC version or a console version, but then ported down to like a PS2 version to where the system couldn't handle it that much. Another thing that can really prove this wrong is the actual air quote assets in the game that were showcased here for this menu. There's definitely something that is interesting about this and fakes really often get away with everything 100% original. Unless there is way too much time put into faking something, chances are this person that made it was going to take a little bit of a shortcut here and there even if that's just by putting an image on a calling card or on a message of the day menu image that pops up from time to time. If you take a look at a couple of the images here within this, they're not assets that are in the public domain and free to use. One of which is called the 2000 yard stare, which was a famous World War II picture by the photographer Tom Leia, and then one was also a picture from Battlefield Bad Company 2, which really seems odd that maybe a Battlefield Bad Company 2 image was being put into an air quote official video and menu for Call of Duty where a different competing company has their game inside the menu of Call of Duty. That's just something that does not ever happen. And sure, maybe your mind wants to go to the fact that, oh, well, if somebody can use them, if it's out there in the public, you can just pull it and put it in your game, right? That's actually 100% false. That then puts this up for major liability to be suit worthy, lawsuit worthy that is, because unless Activision and Call of Duty bought the exclusive rights for said images, it's not their official image, it's not their image to use and profit from, and therefore is subject to many different legal terms and conditions that just would not be worth the risk. That's just something that would never happen, and if you recognize something in an air quote leak that comes out at any point in time, and you match it up, well, that's how you can know it right away. Unless it's 100% genuine and original, it's not gonna be in a game like this, especially in something that is leaked out this early. Now, as for everything else, I can be super nitpicky here with this. I really can go on for a good portion of time and just tell you everything wrong. I just want to point out a couple of other things here for you to maybe make this 100% flawless that this is fake for you guys to point that out and to get that point across. But if you take a look at the main menu display, the very first main image that pops up, it's something that the logo for the game is so small compared to the player, and that's something that really never happens. If you take a look at what the purpose of the main menu is, it's to advertise what game it is, to advertise the branding of the game and not just something that just pushes it off to the side, making it small and kind of in the corner. 
The menu UI is also lacking, which is something that is a little bit rather of a dumbed down version of the Advanced Warfare lobby menu. And the text on this really bugs me, like I mentioned before. It's just a poor font choice and an improper dimensions to scaling. And that's something that once again, a AAA developer with three years to develop this game, they would get that absolutely spot on and perfect. It's something that that would be taken into account so much because you don't ever really realize how much you actually need UI design to be perfect until you see something wrong with it. Additionally, the soldier that is in the main multiplayer menu sketches out like a hologram would, and that makes to me no sense at all, because if we're in World War II in Vietnam, Where's that futuristic stuff come into play here? It doesn't fit the time period at all and definitely is something that really sketches me out. But once again, I could go on and on here for all of this, but to me, that just wraps it up. There's more than enough evidence, a mountain full of it, to prove that this is wrong. Yes, it was a very good fake. It was something that honestly probably took a lot of time. And to that, I say well done on the work, but I don't think it was really worth it. But that is where we're gonna wrap it up. Once again, this is 100% fake in my opinion, and it's definitely something that we'll be getting some new stuff and some actual leaks, hints, theories about 2017's Call of Duty around the March to April to May time period at the very earliest. And it's something that right now, though you might be excited to look forward to 2017's title, don't arbitrarily buy into something because it's branded as 2017. It's very easy to fake some of this stuff. This one happened to be a very well done one, and therefore, I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comments down below. Did you guys fall for this? Did you guys think it was real or did you see right through it the entire time? Love to hear your thoughts down there, but thank you dudes so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare Mastered, Infinite Warfare, and of course, Call of Duty 2017 here as information comes out. But one final thing, if you guys do want to follow me over on Twitter, link is down there in the description below. Practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to just have a conversation with me, talk, ask a question, whatever it may be, link is down there. But thank you dudes so much for watching. My name is Nicolai. Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.